Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daily Insight. Here in the Philippines, it is graduation season. So a lot of students, they're preparing for graduation from high school and college, and they're going out into the real world. And for a lot of them, they're wondering, what do I do next? But especially for high school students who are entering college, they're thinking, what, what course should I take? What career path should I choose? There's so many to choose from, to be a lawyer, to be a doctor, all of those things out there. How do you make the right choice? The best way to figure out is to do your research, to study the different career paths that there are. And that's what we're doing here in Daily Insight. We like to discover the different professions that there are. And with that, we are going to be discussing pursuing a career in physical therapy. Our guest, he is the founder of Active Life Chicago Physical Therapy Clinic. And he's going to be discussing why maybe you should pursue a career in physical therapy. So let's all welcome Dr. Ronald Samaniego. Good morning, Dr. Ron. Good morning. Nice meeting you. Thank you for joining us. Now, Dr. Ron, a lot of people who are watching, they want to know what is physical therapy? Well, physical therapy is, is a branch of, um, of medicine or rehab medicine that uh, covers, uh, well, you have to go to school for it for five years. Yes. Um, uh, so basically, you graduate with a bachelor's of physical therapy. And what you do afterwards is you, you try to fix people in terms of functional mobility. Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, you had a stroke, mm -hmm. then a physical ther therapist would be the one to help you. So example, you have also have arthritis, back pain, knee pain, mm -hmm. then the, your best shot in getting better is, is coming to see a physical therapist. So it's to give them the opportunity to regain those skills that maybe they lost from their illnesses? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So that's why they call it physical rehab medicine mm -hmm. because they, we actually rehab people um, into getting back to how they were before. So mm -hmm. for example, an athlete who wanted to get back to high level functioning, that's what, that's what we do. That's, that we are the people that you wanted to see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is the difference between physical therapy and the other types of medicine? Well, first of all, in physical therapy, we don't give medicine, right? Okay. So we don't we don't give any medication, we don't give injections. But some physical therapy clinics who had who had some uh, uh, advanced training, I guess, in acupuncture, they do that now. Mm -hmm. um, there are, there are, there are other modalities that we use, like heat, light, laser, shock waves, sound, and all that kind of stuff that we apply on a person. Uh, nothing invasive, uh, no medications, no injections. Mm, okay, mm -hmm. so usually what are the types of procedures that you do for your patients? Um, we have a highly specialized practice in active life. Mm -hmm. um, um, usually when you go to a physical therapist, they do the typical, you know, hot compress. Yes. They do the tension unit. You, you, you see Shaq advertising that now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, and they, they give you exercises. In, in mm -hmm. our clinic, when you come in, we do a proper evaluation and say, hey, you know what, let's see where you, where you can move. For example, I could not twist this way. Mm -hmm. So uh, we give you our parameters. We give you our assessment on, on why you can't do that. And, and we, we will give you a plan of care. So what we do is uh, we actually fix the person. Instead of just mm -hmm. saying, all right, we're going to put some hot pack on you and you just rest easy for 30 minutes. We don't mm -hmm. just do that. We actually find a dysfunction, find the muscle imbalance, and we fix it right there and then. That's why the results are very fast. So it's not to a temporary relief of pain, but it's to really cure whatever they're, they're facing at that moment. No, no, no not, nothing temporary about it. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's curative, it's, it's corrective, therefore it's permanent. So usually in physical therapy, what are the types of clients that you treat? Uh, we see a lot of clientels. Uh, a lot of physical therapists have branched into pediatrics, sports, um, adult or geriatric rehab. Mm -hmm. But in Active Life Chicago PT, we do, um, we do uh, I guess, a large a group of people from infants to, to like really older people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, people know about uh, the physical therapy for athletes. They also know for um, uh, older people, the things that they face. For your clinics, what is your specialization? Our specialization is mostly uh, orthopedics. Okay. So ba basically, if you have back pain, knee pain, shoulder pain, um, we, see, we, see, we see those types of people. Um, our specialization... Uh, it's not limited to that. Obviously, we we see a whole lot of uh, cases. Obviously, if you have to enumerate all of it, it's going to take a day or so. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, but we see uh, because of the because of what we do. Like I said, we see from infants to adults. Mm -hmm. So let's say a baby that could hardly sit up. Yeah, we we rehab those. We have uh, we treat those kinds of um, 
uh, cases. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a father who had a stroke, mm -hmm. okay. uh, as long as it's within six months, mm -hmm. we could we actually work with them. So really, all types of people from all different types of injuries. All, all, yeah, all types of people. So before you opened your clinic, and then when you were a student, like our viewers, yeah. why did, what inspired you to study physical therapy? Actually, when I started physical therapy, I, I didn't have any idea. Really? <laughs> <laughs> What's physical therapy? Just like them. <laughs> <laughs> why, why am I taking up physical therapy? Yes. Uh, but during that time, I was 16 years old. My dad was, say, was asking, what do you want to be? Mm -hmm. Usually, when, you, when you're a kid, you have a pretty good idea what you want to be. But at that age, I was 16, I didn't have a good idea. I said... Well, I wanted to go abroad. Oh, really? So I, said, <laughs> I wanted to go abroad. Mm -hmm. What should I take to go to enable to do that? Yes. And during that time, physical therapy was a big boom. Oh, okay. Right? During the that was like 1994. Mm -hmm. That was like the biggest boom in physical therapy in the Philippines. So, I, so my dad said, "Why not take up physical therapy?" Mm -hmm. Okay. And and during my second year, uh, up to my second year, my dad had the severe back pain. Oh. Right? Severe back pain that he was hospitalized in a hospital for. I'd say around two months. Mm -hmm. And during that time, the, the doctor kept saying, you need surgery, you need surgery, you need surgery. But he said, no, I don't want surgery. Mm -hmm. okay. So, and, and that's, that's, when it gets, that's when it occurred to me that, hey, I need to take this more seriously. Okay, because you could already see it at home, you know, with your dad suffering. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so during that time, I didn't have an idea, but when it happened to him, I said, hey, I need to take this more seriously. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll be the one to fix it. Oh, uh, so okay. of course I wasn't the one to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> when you're, you know, 17 years old, of course. Yeah, no. <laughs> but uh, I saw how the professionals during that time were able to fix him, mm -hmm. and I said, you know what, I, I'm going to take this seriously. I'm going to make make a career out of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where did you study uh, physical therapy? Um, I've, I graduated in Fatima University mm, okay. uh, for my bachelor's degree, and then when I was in the States working, I, I pursued a doctor in physical therapy. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, something that is getting started now here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you were in the States, were you a practicing doctor of physical therapy? Yes, I am. I, I was there for 14 years. Wow. And obviously, there's a lot of good trainings, advanced trainings, mm -hmm. um, and, and I saw that, hey, you know what? Uh, I could bring all of this back to the Philippines because no one's doing it. Yeah, that's why. That's why. I, that's why I came back. Oh, okay, good. Well, it was good that you wanted to bring your knowledge back here in the Philippines. Yeah, I feel that a lot of physical therapists in the states or are, are abroad. They, we all have the same passion to bring what we know back to the Philippines. It's just that there's only a few people who actually had the guts or courage to actually start something in the Philippines. Mm. Because if you're earning money, why go home? That's the mentality, right? Yeah, that's true. So, but it, oftentimes it's not about the money. Yeah, money could make you happy for a little bit, but after a while, you would go back to the original thought that I wanted to live in the Philippines. I wanted to retire there. You know? Okay, I think and that's uh, opposite from what a lot of people think, <laughs> which is commendable. Yeah. You know, because a lot of people out there, they think, you know, I'm going to go abroad, I'm going to bring my family abroad. But yeah. you, you were already there, and then you wanted to come back and to bring what you learned here in the Philippines. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So let's now talk about Active Life. When did you start uh, your clinics? Uh, I started Active Life Chicago PT in October 2015. Mm, okay, so um, less than three years ago. Less than three years ago. I, I was looking for a place, because originally I'm from the Valiches. I mm -hmm. said, hey, I wanted to work somewhere close so I don't have to rent a place. Yes. Because, because we have a house there. Mm -hmm. But it didn't pan out. Uh, my luck has always been at, at Mandaluyong area. So I, <laughs> so I started looking at a place at Mandaluyong, and then I saw this small 30 square meter place. Mm -hmm. And I said, Pwede na to. Mm -hmm. I guess okay. this, this would work. And uh, I'd, say I, I'd say around two months into it, um, I was surprised with the result. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect it to be a long line, like, like, like people falling in line for a blockbuster movie, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect that. Well, how did they find out about your clinic? I, first, I approached local hospitals and doctors, because oh, that's okay. what we do in the States, right? We approach, yes. we approach people who would work with you. Mm -hmm. But um, I, guess, I guess a lot of doctors are busy here, and uh, the hospitals, you know, they have their own PT, so why, mm -hmm. why, why you, right? So. Well, uh, that's why I also want to know. Why was it important for you to open your own clinic? Why not work? At hospitals and be a physical therapist there. Seeing, you know, seeing and experiencing what I've experienced abroad, mm -hmm. uh, I feel that I'm better off doing it for myself. Mm, okay. I, I, yeah, I'm a team player, but I, I like to have a say in what I do. Oh yeah. So, so I could only do that if I put up my own practice instead of working for someone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, so that's that was the idea. Just talk to doctors, talk to hospitals, see if they needed someone. You know, just give me your spillover. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not. You know, I'm, I'm beggars can't be choosy. Yes. Right? When I was starting out, mm -hmm. but uh, it didn't work out. Okay. So so like uh, a week into it, I said, you know what, this is not working out. Mm -hmm. So I had my my cousin Jonas hold my selfie stick uh, in my iPhone. Uh -huh. I said we're gonna go we're gonna go on Facebook. Okay. So I'm gonna show you I'm gonna do a demo of what we do. So I did a demo of what we do. I said, hey, this is the vibrocusser, one of the instrument that we use. Yes. This is the vibrocusser. This 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 helps uh, melt the muscles in yes. 20 seconds. You know, muscles pass them in 20 seconds. Yeah. And if you're experiencing this, come and see me. All right. So I put oh, my information okay. there. Right. So it's very direct. It's very in your face. I, yes. I, I didn't have an idea if it's gonna work. And I'd say within four hours of doing that, four people called. Mm -hmm. And four people scheduled for a Saturday meeting. Wow! Right then and there. <laughs> right there and then. That was sad. I think that we did that on a Thursday, uh -huh. and, then, and then Saturday came, and all four people plus two walk-ins mm -hmm. came in my first day. So my first day was six people. Wow! And then, all just from a cell phone and a selfie stick. <laughs> yeah, cell phone and selfie stick. Yes. And then one one person was actually from Davao. Mm -hmm. She said, "I'm desperate." From Davao. From Davao wow. City. Okay. She's like, "I'm desperate, Doctor Ron. I." We need someone like you because I've never seen anything like this before. Instead mm -hmm. of going to the States, why not just see you? Yes. So she's one of our very first, um, my very first patient. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that started in October of 2015. Oh, sorry, and then uh, mm -hmm. since then, how has your clinic grown? Um, yeah, two months into it, I saw that there was a big need. Yes. I said, hey, you know what, there's a big need. Now we have 14 clinics. 14 clinics, wow. Yeah. In what areas of the Philippines? Uh, all over Metro Manila, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we have one in Cebu, Davao, too, Baguio, Pampanga, Baliwag. Wow, so, so you've tapped really the entire Philippines. <laughs> uh, we're, yeah, and we're still, we're not yet done. We're still putting up, I'd say, five or six more in the next three months or so. Five or six clinics in mm -hmm. the next... Three, three months. months. Yeah, that was a, that's a goal at least. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very ambitious. Very ambitious. Yes. <laughs> so then that'll bring up your total to 20 clinics. Pretty much. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much, but I'm, I'm, I don't feel the need to stop there. I feel that uh, I need to be everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel that people need, um, need this type of procedures that we do, and mm -hmm. um, I want to be close to where they live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you could differentiate your clinic versus the other PT clinics? How is yours different from the other ones out there? Um, you know, the typical PT clinic, if, if you go to a hospital, so for people who has been to physical therapy or, or any hospital clinics that render physical therapy, you know that, uh, for example, you had a stroke mm -hmm. or you had a back pain, they would do pretty much the same thing. Um, oh, okay. They would do the hot compress, they would do the TENS, which is the Corriente, mm -hmm. they would do the ultrasound. Mm -hmm. um, not, I'm not saying that all, everyone would do it, but most, most hospitals and clinics would do this. Mm -hmm. And then they would do exercises. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, in our clinic, we actually assess you, check out where, where the movement is, is, is being stopped or is being hindered. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then we tell you that, hey, you know what, you have muscle imbalance around here, that's why you're having spasm here. So we give you a report of your findings mm -hmm. in detail so you understand what you're getting yourself into or what you got mm -hmm. yourself into. Yeah. And then from there, we, we're going to say, hey, we're going to use, we're, we're going to treat you today. If, if you're okay with it, we're going to treat you today and then we're going to fix it. So in the very first visit, people feel results. Yeah, the, the fact that you're giving them the time to educate them about yeah. what's going to happen to their bodies. A lot of times people don't have that you know, opportunity. The doctors don't really explain those things to them. Most of the time. There are doctors who do, but most of the time it's like, oh, okay, just do this and move on. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it, it's, to me, that's very limiting, uh, mm -hmm. but, but that's, why, that's why I came on. I wanted to change how physical therapy is being rendered in the Philippines, and I feel that there's a lot of PTs out there now here in the Philippines mm -hmm. who are going in the same direction that mm -hmm. we are doing right now, and, or who's been doing the same um, thing that we're doing now uh, see, because some of them never left. Oh, okay. So you have a lot of ideas for innovation. What are some of the other ideas that, that you want to improve about the, you know, about physical therapy? Uh, the main thing I want to improve on is independence. Mm -hmm. I feel that physical therapists in this country are trained because of, you, 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 we went to school for five years. Yes. We went to school for five years. We have our PRC license. I feel that we need to be independent. Mm -hmm. We need to be the ones deciding uh, what to do with patients because because we can, mm -hmm. because we can. Instead of the typical, uh, I guess the typical model of you go to the doctor first, then the doctor refers you to PT. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted the direction of direct access. 
Mm-hmm. You know, okay. wherein you don't have to go to them. Get, just go to, straight to the specialist. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I know that's a practice here. But, yeah. but if I could change it, I would go in that direction. And I feel that I'm changing that in each clinics. Maybe one day in the future, when we, when we get there, you know, and there's more education about physical therapy, and people will see the need about how that it really is important to, to do that faster process. Exactly. And, and, and it also comes in with each clinic that, that puts up, or each practice owner that puts up a clinic. You can't just, I feel that we can't just uh, say that, okay, we're going to put hot packs on you and, and this tends when you could buy that in Bang Bang mm-hmm. or any medical store. It has to be something new, exciting, and the result should be fast. Yeah. Because otherwise, you know, I if I do that, I feel that in the long run, it's not going to be beneficial for a lot of physical therapy or for the profession itself. Mm-hmm. Because we're, if people don't get better, they're going to say, well, I had PT before, I didn't get better. Mm. So I'm just going to go somewhere else. Yes. Right? So so it has to come in. The training, the advanced training needs to come in. The specialization needs to come in. And you really have to be good at what you do in order to actually change stuff. Yes. Mm. And a lot of people who, who have a misconception about mis- physical therapy, they think, well, you know, I can just do that myself. Why do I need to see a specialist? If I Whatever he's doing, I can do it myself. And then maybe they end up injuring themselves even more. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We see people with, with third degree burns because they fell asleep using a hot compressor at home. Really? Oh. Uh, they are a tension unit. They left it overnight and then they have like a big blister around their shoulders. Mm-hmm. We've seen those. We've seen yeah. Them. So for mm-hmm. people, don't take medicine into your own hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At, least, yeah. at least not physical therapy. Not that way. Yes. Mm-hmm. So for you personally, what, what wakes you up every day to continue what you're doing about physical therapy and, you know, helping these people? You know, the, the drive to educate people and, 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 um, like I said, I came home to change how the practice is being done. That mm-hmm. what that's what that's exactly what drives me to every morning, and I feel that if I stop putting up clinics, I'm like, man, why am I doing? Why am I so stagnant? Mm-hmm. I want to keep moving. I want to. I want to. I want to be close to our homes. Mm-hmm. You know, I want. I want. I want people to have access to this because yes. it's so good. It's new and exciting. Yeah. Yeah. That's what drives me every morning. That's very good. So for our viewers, for a lot of them who maybe be on the cusp of, of thinking about physical therapy, what's some, some advice that you can give to our viewers who maybe want to pursue that per- career path? If you, physical therapy is a very good field to get into in, in terms of medicine. A lot of, a lot of people who go into medicine use this as a pre-med. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I feel it's a, you will have a very strong background if you're going into that direction. Whether you go into that direction or not, then you will have a very strong background in, in terms of fixing people, in terms of getting people better. Mm-hmm. And if that's the intention, and most people who go into physical therapy or medicine have the intention of getting people better anyway. Yes. And that, if that is your intention, I feel that physical therapy is a very strong, uh, I'd say, undergraduate degree. Mm-hmm, okay. Because yeah, it's becoming more of a graduate degree now. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. So it's a good stepping stone into the field of medicine. Exactly. If they decide mm-hmm. to specialize in physical therapy or maybe go into other areas. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So if people who are watching, maybe they're interested in visiting one of your clinics, how can they find out more information? Uh, you can check us out on Facebook. Just type in Active Life Chicago Physical Therapy. And uh, like I said, we have 14, 14 branches. So what you can do is, my trick is always say, if you if you live in Makati, just type Makati Active Life. Mm-hmm. If you live in Bacoor, just type Bacoor Active Life. Oh, yeah. You can easily find us that way. And then they'll find the nearest one to them. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Ron. We learned so much. For, for our viewers who are thinking about physical therapy, I know this is a very, very big help for them. Thank you for sharing with us your insights. Thanks. Thanks okay. for having me. Thank you for all of you who watched our show. We'd also like to thank our sponsor, Vandara Thai Facial Spa, and to our Arena Weekend Market us every Saturday and Sunday for fitness and for fun. And also visit our newest attraction open every day from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. These are more filled with meaningful business talk. I'm Randy Bernardino and this is Daily Insight.